All right, Shalom. I want to start out by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakakwadash, the abundance of the apostle and elders of the great millstone. Shalom, I'm talking about no pushing the word of sincerity and the truth. And um, you'll see the title lesson, the heat is turning up, you know, upon America. You know, prophecy, prophecy, prophecy. There's so many prophecies that's coming to pass left and right, you know, from a, a global scale. You look at these different, um, you know, state. Uh, you look at these different cities and all of them are turning up to the max, you know, even certain locations that um, most people, you know, weren't familiar with that didn't have a, a high activity. You're starting to see um, them getting bombarded with all, all kind of, um, you know, hell and being centered around the news, you know, and uh, you look at news coverage and they, they have no choice but to cover the main, you know, the main portions of of information that's going on you know whether it's coronavirus you know the coronavirus vaccine these different uh wildfires food cuts and food shortages you know um economic collapses throughout uh different nations um uprisings of the people uh you know going into protests and riots war you know which is all written in the scriptures it said that these prophecies were to come to pass and we're seeing here in in america America is getting beat and battered left and right. And um, I have this article right here, which I was watching Dabu, and I definitely want to, um, you know, put my two cents in, so to speak, because I was pondering on this, you know, any damn way, you know, about um, these different cities. Um, and we were speaking about it, kept these different cities being, uh, you know, having lack of their uh, law enforcement, which is going to excite anarchy, man. All right, it says Texas Billboard, this is CNN.com, Texas Billboard warns drivers to enter Austin at your own risk after city reduces police budget. Right. So, you know, it's been a major movement on uh, people wanting the uh, police department to get defunded, you know, which Esau works through the left and the right hand side. He's really pulling back upon you, you uh, American citizens and um you know, basically allowing you to cause anarchy, burn down these different uh, stores and things of that nature, which most of them are vac vacant any damn way. A lot of them ain't even going to open back up, but they're putting the power on the people to use them as a, um, basically use them as a ploy or, you know, as a, they're weaponizing the people and using it, using them to blame for, you know, the loss of store, you know, property being destroyed and also um, to uh, initiate martial law, you know, and that's this has been a big thing in uh, politics going into defunding the police, defunding the police, defunding the police. And now we're seeing um, a major uh, budget cut in Austin, Texas. And they're like, hey, due to lack of law enforcement being throughout these different streets, we're not going to answer all these different calls. They, they were speaking about here, even in London, they, they're not doing any more uh, high speed chases, man. You know, no doing chasing individuals. And it's going to get to the point where they're, they're not chasing. They're not answering for uh, robberies, you know, rape, you know, a lot of these different things that's, that's going to go on in these in these streets. You know, they're not going to uh, answer. All right. Because what now they're starting to be extremely stretched thin, you know, so it says the Texas Law Enforcement Association's Association erected two billboards this week. So the Law Enforcement Association itself put these billboards up for all to see. Warning drivers to enter Austin at their own risk after the city reduces police department budget. All right. Um, it says warning Austin police defunded enter at your own risk. The one side reads. Limited support next 20 miles, this other sign says. Both were erected by the Texas Municipal Police Association Wednesday. Austin City Council voted in August to slash the police department's budget by $150 million with immediate cuts totally $21.5 million, according to CNN affiliate Key TV. All right. Um, I'm going to read a little bit more. But it says Texas could freeze property taxes in, in cities that defunded 
police governor warns the funds will be redirected to other departments and social services. K K reported. Uh, that's really the main thing, you know. It's 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 that really drives the point home with the article. But like I was speaking about the Austin City Council, them uh, cutting basically the police budget. That's that that's gonna uh, trickle down to more criminal activity in these streets without people being reprimanded, man. All right, because what a lot of people believe that the police department gets paid too damn much, which you know I'm not. You know, or of course, brothers here in the truth, we're not pro Babylon any damn way. We shouldn't, we don't give a damn if the police get paid more or less because what well, if they get paid more, they're going to further, poli- you know, it's going to be further a further police state. If they get paid less, then it's going to be more anarchy in the streets, you know, and that's why the, the these Edomites, the so called white man, has a new world order where he's just going to reinvent this whole system and um, op majority of you jakes out. But like I said, they're using these these situations that take place, such as this coronavirus, such as these economic collapses, and they're pushing policy as it is written that he shall, um, you know, through his policy, he shall make craft to prosper in his hand. They used these, um, you know, these politicians push policy to further, um, you know, push the plans of the, uh, the upper elites, man, you know. And these elites are, are let's get you to speak about their wisest Daniel. They they calculate each and every move. You know, they know it's, it was going to be a time where, which they push these different pestilence and sicknesses so that the governments will be shut down. Hell, here in Atlanta, you know, they're back in phase two, you know. And what, they're going to, more than likely, they're going to end up mandating that uh, vaccination. You know, certain stores are not going to be able to serve. So it's prophecy popping out all over the place. That's a topic for another time, but it all encapsulates, you know, the end. We know we're in the end. All right, Second Edges 15 and 15. The sword and the destruction draw nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands, right? And the, um, the, the modern-day sword is the gun. All right, so a lot in Texas, you know, that's a gun-toting um, state, man. So these different individuals, you know, the good old boys in Texas and these, these Jakes, you know, and let, let's, let a Jake get shot, man. You know, let a Jake get shot or killed by a police officer and all kind of havoc goes on in the city of Austin, Texas. It, when they got the police budgets cut off, what? They're, gonna, they're not going to uh, put their lives at risk. And they're not even getting paid. They're not getting the proper supplies that they that they should. You know, their retirements is probably slashed. You know, whatever type of payments, you know, their, um, you know, equipment that they need for uh, to protect, so-called protect and serve. You know, they're going to be lacking that. They're going to be using, you know, it's going to be uh, outdated weaponry. And you see these jakes on the streets, you know, they they get the, uh, you know, they, they be having some crazy stuff, man. All kind of, um, you know, modern weapons and things of that nature. And if you have an outdated police department trying to um, restrict individuals like that, then that's a conflict of interest. And a lot of people, a lot of them going to put their badges down, man. All right, that's why you watch that on um, World War Z with Brad Pitt. When all hell break, lo- broke loose, that police officer wasn't looking to, um, you know, put the cuffs on individuals and put them in the back of the squad car and drive them to the police department and, you know, <clears throat> lock them up. He was looking to feed his own, man. All right, it says, verse 16, For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Right. So the kings and the princes in today's day would be your mayors, you know, your senators, your governors, you know, your, you know, the house, people in the house, or the speakers of the house or whatnot, your president. Because what? This isn't a um, monarch-based system. You know, this is a, you know, so-called democracy where, you know, you have people that's voted in office and it's way different. The scripture tells you that even in Maccabees, how in uh, Rome they established the Senate. So that would be the modern day government establishments. And a lot of people are not respecting the governments. A lot of people talk all kind of shit about Trump, you know, their state. Um, hell, even in the state of Georgia, you had this lady with a bullhorn, you 
you know, basically a blow, whatever that horn is called. Uh, and she was basically, you know, barking in front of uh, Keisha's uh, mansion, you know, her, her residence, you know, speaking all kind of shit against the, um, the lady. But that's that's going to go into that's going into the prophecy. A lot of people are not going to respect and they're not respecting the powers that be and the government itself. You know, they're starting to lose their grips on the society, which is going to what result in anarchy. All right. But us brothers in the faith of you, how about Shemar was shot? We're going to stay down, man. You know, because what we trust in the Lord. Matter of fact, I'm just going to end it with the scripture. Because when all hell breaks loose, this is an example of all hell breaking loose. They talking about entering at your own risk. How, so how are you going to be protected? All right. If you go to Austin, Texas, or you go to these different cities and states, how are you going to actually be protected? You know, a lot of people are going to trust in the sword. They're going to trust in their gangs. You know, they're going to trust in their affiliations. But we trust in Yahweh Shemal Shah. All right, Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Right, so the wisdom and knowledge that we possess is going to help us be stabilized and help us get through when, um, you know, death, mayhem, anarchy, pandemonium. All these different things start to, you know, bombard these different cities and states, man. You know, your neighborhoods and all these different things. All right, well, it's where you got maniacs, you know, like in the movie The Purge. Movie The Purge, they just cut off basically law enforcement and let, you know, people run rampant. There's going to be a constant purge out here. But you, the scripture speak about that wisdom and knowledge. We're going to be stabilized, man. So, you know, with that, hopefully, brother, edify them any by giving all praise and honor and glory unto you. How about Shema, Shah, about Shema, Kakwadash, the bonus of the apostle and others, great millstone. Shalom, Amakim.